Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and you know, over the years, I've learned that, you know, language arts is kind of important. It never was my favorite subject, but I've had to come to grips with some of the basics, and so I thought I'd share some of those with you. Um, these get messed up all the time on Facebook, I can tell you that. And now that I know them all, sometimes it gets on my nerves. But at any rate, I thought I'd just go over them just to get them off my mind, okay? There, there, there. Uh, they are problems. They're a problem, aren't they? They're a problem, aren't they? I don't have they. <laughs> there means they are. There means it is their house. It is theirs. There means over there. <laughs> Come here, go there. That's this there, okay? Your, 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 it is your house. You're going to the store. You are. Two, two, two. Two, this can mean also, I want to go too. Or it can mean too much, that you have way too much, too much. Too much. I remember that because there's two zeros, so I remember, ooh, it's just too many zeros. It's too much. And then two, the number two. Now, our, our, and are. Sometimes those cause trouble. Our is the time. Our is ownership. It is our house. And are is where are you going? <laughs> And then there are other words like this. I only shared one, meet and meet, that sound the same but mean entirely different things. And I put those there because I'm going to use them a little bit in part two of my little mini lesson. Where did my eraser go? Oh, where, oh, where did my eraser? Oh, right here. Okay, so I'm going to erase those. Oh, well, I don't know if they're going to erase. So maybe I'll just say this. Okay. Part two, him, her, she, me, I, okay? <laughs> he, she, I, subject of the sentence. He is going to the store. He is doing this. She is doing this. I am doing this. Him, her, my, hers. That's it is his. It is hers. It is ours. It is whatever. Anyhow. Here is an example. This, you tell me which one's right. Him is your friend, or he is your friend. Hmm. He is your friend. Me is your friend. I am your friend. I am your friend. Me and him is your friend, or he and I are your friends. Hmm. He and I are your friends. Okay. Last but least, let's see. Last but not least. Okay. Oh, here's another example. Me and him didn't ever meet. Look at those mistakes. What is wrong with that? Oh, it should be he and I didn't ever meet. Okay. I and he never talked. What should that be? He and I never talked. Him and me didn't message. He and I didn't message. Hmm. He and I never betrayed you. That's the way it goes. So there you go. Me hope that you, <laughs> me hope that this helps you understand why you need to watch your grammar. Because too many misunderstandings can happen between too many people when you use poor grammar. Talk to you later. Bye.